Uh, my name is Sergey, and I'm from Netrix. Netrix is an international company. We've got headquarters in uh, Irvine, in California. And our main market is uh, United States, and now we start to develop the European market from the industry countries, Germany and France, because the most big economies are there. there. But we provide uh, support and services all over the world. We've so got subsidiaries in Russia, in Czech Republic, in the uh, United Kingdom, in uh, Asia, and the uh, Pacific region. So there are about 10,000 customers now with Netflix. We provide them with uh, good support, 24 by 5. And here are here is the list of our customers from Europe and worldwide customers. You can see some uh, companies like NASA and IBM. So well, very well known brand. So what actual Netrix is and why it's related to uh, cybersecurity? Netrix is a solution that provides you an audit of the data. Which uh, are located, which is located in your in your infrastructure. We track on all changes, on all permission changes, on all access attempts, and provide you with some analytical uh, reports. Who metrics can be interesting to? We are in the middle of the uh, security process between the. Uh, owners of the business to get benefit of the securing their data and cutting off costs for different files and for data loss. And the uh, low level where all these security and procedures and security actions are implemented. I took this picture from the uh, NIST site is the National American Institute that uh, is researching cybersecurity and that, that is uh, developing this cybersecurity uh, cyber framework. So Netflix is uh, in the middle of this process because we give reports and give information to the management, to the executive level, executive level, for them to allocate budgets to prioritize their efforts. And as well, we give the same information, but in a bit different format, to the operational level. So uh, people on, uh, who work with, uh, with data systems, with applications, could uh, see what exact settings they should correct. Then I'll miss some... Uh, I won't talk uh, a lot about the processing, the auditing is the processing. You do all this planning and checking and action uh, activities. But what uh, Netflix as a software can be can bring to your business is that uh, we, besides of our main tools, the main software, we develop some documentation. For example, this is a IT assessment checklist so you can easily download it from the site from our website go through the points in this checklist and understand if you should do any additional uh, security measures or everything is fine in your uh, environment the software provides you this IT uh, security reports that shows mainly uh, main uh, vulnerabilities in your uh, systems. We provide you with uh, overview reports in graphical format for you to uh, be able to understand and compare different parts in your environment and see what are at most uh, under most risk which parts of your environment. And we also give you uh, documents related to related to 
compliance regulations such as GDPR, PCI, DSS. So reading these documents, we can understand better what is required by the legal act and which uh, measures you can uh, do in our applications to satisfy the requirements of uh, this, uh, the articles of that matter. And now uh, let's switch to the technical part. So this is a uh, architecture of matrix auditor, architecture of our software. On the left hand side you see some uh, squares that show applications that we support by default. Most of them are from Microsoft stack as directory exchange exchange environment. Office 365, uh, Windows file servers, uh, some uh, solutions for file storages from EMC and uh, up PowerPoint, uh, Oracle, and uh, SQL databases. Uh, be aware, uh, endpoint computers and uh, servers run under Windows and network devices will support uh, Cisco and Fortinet. So what Netflix does, we try to use the maximum nat uh, native capabilities of uh, their systems we work with. So if we talk about Microsoft, we take the security log, we copy it to a network server which is installed somewhere in your environment, and we compare different logs that come from different sources, for example, from different uh, domain controllers, from the uh, exchange, and from the domain controllers, etc. Uh, plus, we add some additional information that we get via uh, LDAP or via Windows Management Interface. And while processing this uh, logs, we understand that some events are the same in different logs. We cut off all the unnecessary information and create so-called activity records that contain information who changed what, where, when, and some additional uh, parameters depending on the application where the log came from. So this record is stored simultaneously to two databases. One of them is a long-term archive that uh, is situated on the file share. It's just a formatted and compressed text file. And it is used to store data for a limited period of time because uh, some compliance regulations say it cannot require the data to be stored for a long period. And the second one is a database, uh, Microsoft SQL database, we support uh, any SQL starting from uh, express version for small environments. And uh, we use this database to create reports and to perform search of the collected data. On the right hand side, you see uh, our interface that allows us to connect metrics to any third party solution. This is the directional interface to get data from. Uh, these logs of different devices and also process data can be uploaded to third party solutions like SIM solutions or workflow managers or uh, ticketing uh, systems, support systems. So metrics can be integrated to your global security interfaces. And on the top of that, we see audit intelligence. Uh, these are some analytical reports starting from uh, data analysis because we've got uh, data discovery and classification module that uh, performs classification of the data which is stored on your file shares in your databases, mailboxes, and whatever sources you've got. The other part of uh, analysis is related to user behavior because we have to understand what users are doing now in our environment. And we also got some uh, risk assessment uh, reports that just give you a general picture of uh, what is wrong or what is okay in your uh, environment. So here is a picture that describes 
uh, matrix API. Uh, interface is quite easy to use and it's quite easy to uh, integrate. And we have already have some plugins which are free and can be connected to metrics. Um, so, on the example of um, Netflix auditor for Active Directory device, uh, I'll tell you how generally, what generally data we collect from the applications. So, first of all, we drive all changes in the Active Directory. If you create an object there, if you delete an object, if you move mm -hmm. an object from one organization and you move to another, so we track all these changes. We track all permission changes. So we track all changes to uh, group policies, to protocol activity, and there are some uh, additional tools that allow us to to operate the objects in the uh, Active Directory. First of all, it's a change from that wizard that allows us to revert changes that we made in uh, Active Directory just by clicking uh, mouse and with a couple of clicks, clicks of mouse, we can restore massive, uh, multiple uh, deleted objects or uh, very, vice versa, very granularly. Uh, revert one parameter change. The second application is an uh, inactive user tracking application, so it can see which users were inactive for a certain period of time and form actions on that user accounts. For example, block this account, delete or move to a specific uh, organization. And a small application that helps uh, IT administrators uh, to track uh, expired passwords and it sends reminders to management or to users to check the passwords and to change the passwords. Windows support file servers. Also, this, this information is valid for EMC and uh, the top file shares. We uh, track changes to folders and files, including deletion and copy renaming and uh, access permission changes. Uh, we make snapshots of uh, file servers. Uh, the snapshots do not contain the information about the information which is contained inside the files, but uh, it contains information where the files were located and what permissions to access the files users have. So you can uh, see what user can access which files and vice versa which file is accessed with by which users and with what permission. This information is stored in state and time reports so that means that you can see uh, the status of your file system and the permissions on your file system back in time, for example, a uh, uh, report of uh, the status one year before you generated this report. And then there are some uh, file analysis reporting. This is a not deep analysis, we just look at the uh, file names and the extensions. And also we uh, see who is trying to access uh, which folders and files and uh, whether those Success attempts were successful or not successful. Together with this module, we provide you the possibility to discover and classify the data. It's a separately standard module that goes inside your files or inside your mailboxes, inside your SharePoint. You can connect uh, multiple data sources. Then it indexes information in, uh, that it gets from those sources uh, and works with these indexes to uh, sort out and uh, classify uh, information according to the defined rules. 
this module is also capable to do some data management. For example, if it finds uh, information related to, say, GDPR, it can copy this information, it can change uh, rights to access this particular file, or to um, redact information, for example, if it finds a credit card number, it can replace it with stops. This can be done automatically, so it requires some uh, actions before you uh, press the run button. But after you press it, uh, all the actions are performed uh, automatically. And now I would like to switch to my lab environment, and you are welcome to ask questions. So I could revert back to slides. Okay. Okay. That's the uh, main interface of uh, matrix monitor. There are some buttons that are responsible for configuration, some buttons that are responsible for this, the data that were collected by matrix monitor. Uh, let me adjust the Generally, you use uh, configuration buttons to perform 95% of configuration. You don't have to go to, uh, to some specific settings files and to that. Uh, so it's uh, user friendly for administrators as well. And to get reports, you use uh, the buttons in the central part. Here we see uh, IT risk assessments uh, report, and you see some information about uh, uh, user and computers accounts in your directory, some permission related uh, risks, and date related risks. All these uh, strings are interactive if you click. You, you get down, drill down to a second level of report, and you see particular information, for example, user accounts with password that never expire. You see which user it is and which status of the user it is. Actually, there are about 300 
reports for different uh, applications and metrics. And they are also grouped into compliance regulations uh, sections. And uh, if you want to see, for example, GDPR compliance, we've got special, specially developed uh, documentation that allow us to co correlate uh, GDPR requirements to uh, specific settings that can be done in metrics uh, auditor. So it is called uh, mapping document. And this document is uh, available on our website. You can uh, check it. It is constantly updated. So what we can see there, there is an article that uh, describes some regulations and actual settings or actual reports that we recommend checking. Uh, also, uh, the alerts that will be set for. Uh, specific events and metrics. So uh, besides the reports, we've got search functionality that allows you to uh, search for any uh, data, any information in, uh, in your environment. You can uh, define your uh, own filters to create a report because by default it's cross-platform and just shows all the information from the database. And you get uh, the information of, of what has happened, who uh, was involved in this. Uh, now you see this was a successful logon attempt. You see a domain controller on which this logon was registered. You see a uh, uh, workstation where uh, it was initiated. This is a workstation. You see the uh, who performed this logon, and you see information about this account. For each uh, search can be saved as a custom report, so you can then easily access those reports from this custom reports section. Oracle mm -hmm. related reports. And you can also create alerts. Uh, based on the search criteria. We've got about 50 predefined alerts, but uh, alerts are very specific to uh, user and user environment, so uh, the specific alerts should be created additionally. It's quite easy to create an alert. You just take your search, you adjust filters, in this search, you may set thresholds to uh, identify some sort of massive uh, actions, for example, massive uh, file deletions or file changes. Uh, you may specify a risk score for this particular action, and you may set a response action response action is actually can be a script that either performs uh, actions in your environment like allowing down permissions for a user who performs this uh, action or uh, this can be something that blocks a, a support ticket with some description so this is an automated response for 
changes in your, in your and based on this risk score functionality, we build the user behavior and all this report. So if we see a user with high risk score, we can first of all see it's a risky activity. Uh, it means that uh, this user dump generated an alert and you do it, we may see which action was we may see which risk score this action had and we can work with this uh, action and do some comment in the comment and uh, if it was approved it will be marked as a approved action. So any change in uh, the environment can be reported as a risk. For example, this one is uh, privilege group changes. We can see what actually was changed in uh, each group. information about this uh, change. So we see that uh, the main and main groups was modified and a new member was added to this group to see where, where uh, we did this change. So this is a main functionality related to uh, risks and risk assessment. So you get reports about major risks, you get reports about uh, user behavior, and you got alerts and search for investigation and uh, preventing the risk events. Are there any questions? Well, then let's see the uh, Structure of our reports. First of all, the organization will uh, level reports that show us just overview of what's going on in our IT environments. They all have graphical format, so we see changes uh, that occurred, and so we see where those changes were, um, we can click uh, to any element of this report to drill down and get uh, get better understanding of what's going on. So any report can be stored in different formats effectively. On which formats you would like to get it, that can be XML, it can be PDF, it can be Excel format. Uh, any report can be subscribed to, so that selected users will uh, get uh, reports uh, by subscription. Other uh, reports may show us uh, information from data discovery and classification model. For example, sensitive information counting by data source should show us which folders in the environment contain which sort of information. The classification was made by our classification tool, classification, data discovery classification model. So we can drill down and see what particular files contain which sorts of information and whether they are located in 
our work. The data discovery and specification model itself looks like this. It's a standalone solution which requires its uh, own database. And here I am connected to file shares, but actually it's possible to connect to more applications, including uh, exchange data boxes, uh, SharePoint. Data SharePoint only on prep or SharePoint on both? Both of us are I have another question about that. This, uh, this auditor, is this uh, multi tenant or single tenant application? I mean, if we have 20 customers, <coughs> can we install it at, uh, at, some, at our server? And then connect to multiple customers. That's both because we've got different licenses in Mobile. Okay. If you are a service provider, you get uh, uh, a special license that allows you to keep your keep the server in your environment and just sell it, resell it to end customers. Or if you but you have to install it at the customer site, or, or you not. have to. Uh, Okay. Can you manage uh, multiple customers from one server? Yeah. yeah. You have to get connection to, to the customers from yeah. uh, Active Directory. So, yeah. And the other uh, the other option is to install uh, metrics in customers' environments mm -hmm. and uh, sell them licenses. So, how this model works? It once it, um, you connect to a data source, it goes through all files uh, at this data source, uh, understands multiple formats of uh, files, and it extracts information from uh, the files. So it opens a file, it gets the content, it gets the metadata uh, of the file, it, if it makes a picture or a picture in the board document, it can recognize a text from the picture. And it creates a database with indexes. So when it performs classification of the file, it does not touch the original, it only works with its own database. Uh, whenever a change happens to the original, it is re indexed and uh, fresh information is uploaded to the database. So it also does not uh, affect a lot uh, original file servers and it does not create uh, additional load file servers. Then once uh, the information is in the database, the classification is performed according to classification rules that are called taxonomies. Uh, different categories of uh, rules uh, that are provided by default, but uh, it's easy to create your own classification rules and uh, we recommend creating classification rules because each organization has its own type of document and uh, we cannot just provide uh, the full scope of uh, rules to identify what uh, an end customer needs. For example, for Slovenia, we created some sample uh, classification rules that allow us to, for example, find a Slovenian driver license. And the mechanism how it works it finds uh, some keywords or regular expressions. And those uh, keywords have their uh, score. The score can be positive and negative. The score, uh, uh, their expression can have child. Child can have different scores depending on the parents and depending on which, uh, which uh, what other expressions are in this uh, set. So it's quite complicated and uh, quite uh, 
enterprise some uh, preparational work to uh, to adjust the classification to to your needs. But once you uh, create a set of classification rules, you just click start and it automatically classifies all your documents in all your uh, data sources. Moreover, uh, it can also perform actions on the uh, data it found. For example, it can change permissions to access these files automatically. It can move uh, certain categories of files to different locations. It can uh, redact documents. For example, if it's find a credit card number, it can replace it with something a star. So it can work with uh, tagging. So the document is tagged. Uh, a special method that data field is created for them for the work document. And then uh, other uh, tools, uh, for example, like uh, EMC or now they are uh, open text. Uh, open text uh, documental uh, data processing managers, uh, they can understand those texts and works, work with them. So this is. Uh, our module, our even standalone uh, application that uh, allows you to focus on your data protection and together with this auditing solution you get uh, complete uh, data and auditing uh, solution for your business because the most valuable asset that uh, IT can protect is Then we've got reports that uh, may show you some user behavior anomalies. For example, uh, a simple report that is not available or information that uh, can be hardly blocked in the directory. For example, the every user account report.
Floyd, but you're fighting Tesla. switching to full screen mode. Campus edit, you see when how to edit this account, where and from which uh, station. And we see the same information about modification and some additional information which modification of course and the password was reset and the user account was enabled. And then we can see full report about uh, permission changes. some powerful actions that were performed on the top of this account we can also track this So here is a button that allows us to save this report and we can also subscribe to this report if you want us to bear with this here. Changes of AD and uh, this information is included by different objects and by uh, different others. You can also see changes in composes and also state and design reports that show us the uh, actual situation, for example, with group policies. It will show us the current status of uh, group policies in my lab environment. Or you can revert back and see what was the status of the group policies back in time. Uh, you can actually upload a snapshot for each date when an entrance was formed. But then 
not all sitting in the database because they consume some space and resources. There is also a very interesting module about yeah. Windows servers. We can track uh, activity which is uh, performed on local machines, uh, and local logons, uh, local changes to hardware and software. We can track the popular, uh, software and versions of software that are installed in different servers. Domain controller and the news Some people are in the issue space. And this module also allows us to see uh, reported user activity sessions. So it can show us. Sessions, including the uh, metadata which is taken from the Windows that were open during that session. <coughs> for this record, they can see what was going on on the user screen, and later on they can perform search uh, and the search should be based on the captions of the Windows, which a user was working with. There are sometimes questions about the size of the files and the size of the um, recorded files depend on, uh, on the activity on the monitor. For example, this one is considered to be large, it's 83 megabytes. And I was recording the World Championship. So there are some actions on the screen, and, and that's why this file uh, is here. But other files were only uh, as a static screen with some uh, configurational changes are also here. So Airborne, which is 33 kilobytes, just a screen with the first of your computer label. Probably about some questions related to your specific environments, your needs to be audited. Some applications about ID files exchange. And the last model uh, I'll show you it's exchange and exchange online. You get all the information about uh, Changes to settings in Exchange and Exchange Online, as well as uh, non order mailbox access events. When, for example, an uh, IT guy is looking to someone else's uh, mailboxes, we can uh, track this information and you can see what particular uh, folders. He looked at all the ones the root action at the mailbox folder. We see the who whom this mailbox belonged to, and a particular path to the folder. We see who read this information, when, uh, where. Uh, he logged into and uh, the credentials of his file. Uh, you see this read actions, remove actions, uh, moved from one folder to another, 
help you see some uh, additional information from which folder an item was moved to to which. So this is um, quite valuable report to track the activity on exchange and exchange on web servers. So I'm using this uh, user-friendly interfaces and reports. You can uh, establish your own procedures. You can check whether they are uh, in force or whether there are some deviations. You may collect your uh, procedures, etc. And you may also delegate uh, different uh, users different rights to access the uh, information collected or to perform uh, settings and configuration in metrics. So that's uh, what I would wanted to tell you about. If you've got questions, you can find me at the boot in the front core, or you can uh, should simply download uh, Netflix from our website. The trial version is uh, free for 20 days if you are interested in some specific tests. You can write us and we will extend this uh, license to you. And I'm also available for personal de demonstrations to go online. So thank you for your attention.